Every morning when I come to work and walk through the lobby of the Forsheimer building, I see the motto, science at the heart of medicine. That motto sets me up for the day because I know that major progress in the treatment of serious disease will come from a greater understanding of human physiology and chemistry. In 1977, when I was a young faculty member, I received a letter from the National Cancer Institute requesting that I determine how a new drug, Taxol, that had been isolated from the bark of the yew tree, shrunk tumors in mice. No one was particularly interested in what we were doing, and we could not predict that the drug would be useful in the clinic. But today, it has been given to over a million patients with ovarian, breast, and lung cancers. When we started the project, there was a single paper in the literature about Taxol, the original report describing its isolation and structural determination. As of last night, there were 29,962 published papers that had the word Taxol or its generic name Paclitaxol in their title. It all started in the laboratory with a simple basic question. How does Taxol kill tumor cells? The right simple question can often produce meaningful results that can have a major impact. A single patient can confront you with a new question that will open your eyes to a new paradigm. But there is much more to the motto than science and medicine. There is heart. As I have become older, I have realized the importance of being kind. Not just a smile or a nod, but genuine concern and compassion for others. Whether you spend your time in the laboratory or the clinic or both, there is need to listen to your students, to your patients, to your colleagues, and to your children with genuine interest and concern. Although the advances that have been made in technology are greatly admired, they can never replace the empathy that can develop between humans or within a community. I have always been very proud of being a faculty member at Albert Einstein, particularly because it has been blind to race, religion, gender, and political persuasion in the hiring of its faculty, in the selection of students and fellows, and in the treatment of patients. This has made it a very special place for me to work, and I hope also for you to be students.